<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 80 of Smack Talk here at SmackOutMoment.com. I am your host, as always, Tony Mango. You're so sick and tired of me saying that, aren't you? I'm sure you 80 are. 80 episodes. 80 episodes. When it gets to 100, right I'll change it. I'll change my name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I have for you this week, this panel, we have Miguel Leon, Michael Burhan, Braden Mayhew, Brandon Ligon, and Mike Payton. And, Hi, everybody. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to obviously talk about the Ask Him and the Hot Tags, but the two kind of specialty things for this week are, first and foremost, the monthly mailbag, which we'll knock out in this segment, and then the lineup of the pay-per-view predictions for Extreme Rules 2013. So, I've just got a nice little fact before we start. Turtles can actually breathe through their butts. There we go. Really? Yep. Did anybody see know. that picture? Did anybody see that picture of that huge turtle that they found in the Amazon? It's supposedly like they put it on like a back of a truck. <laughs> Or is that just like Photoshop? Was that really good Photoshop? Did they do that they because they did they do that because it was like they needed to it was get it huge. somewhere and they didn't yeah they found it in like the longer. Amazon somewhere they found it in the Amazon somewhere and they were like removing it and it was like on a flatbed truck <laughs> and there's like five hundred year old fucking like rep- leftover dinosaur tur- tortoise. The first person who uh, posts a video response of that I like turtles kid gets a fucking I like. Next week, <laughs> I, I like turtles. turtles. <laughs> I like turtles way, yeah. with zombie honestly, makeup on. On a on a side I note, like... I know. Oh, I was gonna say on, on a uh, on a side note. I know we're we're just talking about the pay per view this this um, episode, but are we gonna touch at all on the uh, Austin Aries situation? I figured that'd be something we would talk about, considering how much how that's, big that's, that's been going. That's kind on. of a ballsy move, there, Miguel. <laughs> I say we're just. I say we're just gonna <laughs> graze it <laughs> gently. <laughs> I know that's uh, for even bringing it up. Crotch, stop crotching around, okay? I don't want to <laughs> sound like a pervert, but I put that in the hot tags. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't work with hot, and it doesn't work with tag, but, you know. No, it was. It was cause his well, we'll be hanging out here waiting. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do here is, of course, talk about the Ask Him. Who got it right last week, Brian? Oh, no one cares. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, well... The hot tags, basically, if you if you guys remember the question, it was if you remember Adam, the segment name. Uh, do is that my cue? Yeah, yeah I, I don't remember the segment name either. <laughs> oh, what? No, ask him. Yeah, for the ask him what? Same question. You said it last time. Come on. Oh man. Oh well, it was who had won Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble, King of the Ring, WWE Championship, and is in the Hall of Fame. There's only one. And the answer was Drew Carey, Bob Beck, <laughs> uh, Edge. Correct. So yes, ladies and gents, the answer was Edge. And let's see how many of you got it right. So uh, Designer Metal One got it right with Edge. A special note goes to a gentleman on Twitter by the name of, if I can find you, Lorenz Gino. Uh, he has a very cool. Uh, Twitter handle at Lorenzo G Impact. He said at Smart Up Moment at, at Michael Burhan Edge did all four, and that's correct. Uh, we also have the regulars with Awesome Piano Man, of course, uh, Jamie O'Halloran, and uh, apparently I'm Duchess Burhan now. And uh, <laughs> just to make sure that I didn't leave anyone out, Gorman's 2002 Extreme Edgehead HD, who said Adam Copeland, aka Edge, rated our superstar. And uh, da, 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 just making sure that everyone's been accounted for, otherwise people are gonna start bitching at me. Uh, Guy with full name, wow. Man King is sixty-seven as well with Edge, but Sander one, but whatever. Is it Watch Man King or is yes. it Watch Man King or is it Watchman King? I'm assuming you, Watchman Tony. King. Hmm. I'm assuming fuck you, Tony. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like Watch Men King better. It sounds like it's like his name. Dude, I've got the flu. Give me a freaking break. My brain is out of existence. He was Watch Men King. <laughs> Private it's like, eye. It's like Mantar, except for it's Man King. <laughs> oh, God, Mantar. Honestly, I saw that sounds, like, <sighs> sounds like a 1930s like archaeologist. Like, Watch Men King. Saying, in this Watch Men King. <laughs> 
I have the problem, that. Miguel. We are I see that guy going that. for the unsubscribe button any moment now. <laughs> no, Watchman King, you better stay here because your name's cool. Uh, well, you know what you gotta do? You gotta uh, send us an answer. Is it Watchman King? The or... pronunciation what? would be nice. Right. <laughs> so everybody... Guys, 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 you have to let the A's breathe. <laughs> Watch my King. King. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's get on to uh, the Ask Him, and it's in two parts, of course, if I can actually remember what the hell I'm doing. Um, the first component is basically me trying to stump the host with a question. That question will lead on to the second component, which you guys will have to answer for, and as always, you either have my love or disdain. So the guys that don't get it right, like I Curry, who hasn't even said anything this week's episode, fuck you. Right, so let's <laughs> let's start this. Uh, with a question so in regards to releases this week who had himself repackaged um as a mr america type gimmick from nxt Derek bateman correct ding, ding, ding. now wait we're... a minute was he the wall street guy from from the few seasons back no he was the guy with the fuzzy afro Oh, okay. He teamed with Daniel Bryan. They actually had a good tag team. I like them. His whole gimmick was he was supposed to be a computer game playing geek, but then he turned into a complete and utter nutcase. Now, he was a male AJ. Yeah. On his last <laughs> season of NXT, who did he feud with? And what oh, is that sake. person's current gimmick? Mm. So that's for everyone out there. These guys are not going to say a word because if they do, I will beat them. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know what your choices are for that, and that's going to move us on to the monthly mailbag. So if you haven't seen the mailbag before, it's basically kind of the reverse of the ask him. Instead, uh, you guys ask us <laughs> questions, and uh, I like that idea. It's like it's the reverse of it. I don't know. It's, it's ask us. Yeah, we we give you the answer, <laughs> and then you, you oh, yeah. ask us the question. It's it's Jeopardy. We're pulling a TNA. It's a reverse ask him. <laughs> Who is Derek Bateman? Uh, but uh, <laughs> suck it, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what your mother said last night, Trebek. Eventually, I'm going to have episode three. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Billy. Um, ah, we have four questions. Up. Four questions here, care of Awesome Piano Man. First up, where do you see Smart Out Moment and Smack Talk going on in the future? Uh, my plans are... A lot of people think that I'm trying to go for like a PW Insider kind of a thing, but I'm really not because they really have that cornered that market i mean they're kicking ass and i won't be able to do better than them um instead i want to make it a situation where you guys um you're you're more interested in our opinions and you can get your opinions out and everything i'd like to to get a forum and maybe have like uh, a more of a chance for everybody to kind of um express their opinions and stuff smack talk uh i've actually had written out a whole big plan of if i had gotten popular enough i would split it up and have four possible shows a week where it would each be a segment like maybe the ask him and a mailbag for a weekly thing instead of a monthly would be um like on, on a monday or tuesday and then so on and so forth um well, hosted by latino gardeners by the yeah way. obviously different uh hosts would be you know any of the guys that are here like if they wanted to they would be able to take uh more responsibilities on and kind of like how um how burhan really uh picks up the ball with the whole ask him thing. Like that could be like his, his show that night, like that kind of a thing. Um, and specialty is balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question number two, or actually, you know what, how, do, where do I see it going? Honestly, I don't fucking know. Uh, hopefully all that kind of stuff. Question number two, if you could, and this will be for everybody, if you could choose any wrestler dead or alive, who would you want to interview and why? My thoughts as a fan undertaker, as a businessman, Chris Benoit, because I would get so many fucking hits on that one. <laughs> Chris uh, Benoit? Yeah. I, you know, I, I'd have to have a blank interview. I'd be talking to nobody. But um, now, if I actually could, like, you know, as a businessman, that obviously makes the most sense. But uh, Undertaker would be my choice because he's awesome. Um, what do you think, Miguel? If you were interviewing people and stuff, who would you want to interview? Dead or alive? Hmm. I've never really given that any... <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
I've never given that any thought. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <I'll> continue. <laughs> I can't help me myself. Coffin choir. You know what? I'm, gonna go for the, I'm probably going to go for the... Um, you know what? I've, I've heard interviews with him, and I think he'd be really cool to talk to. I'm going to go with Triple H. You know, especially since he's one of the upper guys, you know, in the company. I, I'd love to <laughs> ask him, you know, about some of the backstage going ons, you know, just what he's been going through. He seems like a he seems like he would give a very well rounded interview. I'd probably be like, Triple H, so first question, why are you dick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're, we're, that's not even like much of a question, you're right. Yeah. Question two. Why are you such a dick to so many people? There you go. There's question. <laughs> like, what do you think, Burhan? Mine would be Dixie Carter. Just for the point that I could actually just ask her every single question about, does she know anything about wrestling? What's her extent of her wrestling knowledge? And why does she <laughs> suck so bad? You're like sort of like a, you're like what? No, uh, like sort of like a competency hearing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I just hope <laughs> Are you retarded? Are you she retarded? Up, uh, you end up asking her. You're like so. Uh, like, what is your favorite part of, like, the history of the NWA? And she'll be like, I'll tell you next week, I'll tell you next week on a special fucking crazy episode where a lot of shit's gonna happen. <laughs> It'll really change the wrestling business that people would be up for this TNA WWE crossover promotion thing that you wish to do with them. Do you actually think it's a reality? Well, sure. uh, of course I, 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 I do. That Dixie Carter wants to be the WWE, mm. but that, you know, oh, I just want to, I just want to reaffirm that and just have a hilarious conversation with her because nine times out of 10, every single question I ask, she's going to be sitting there going, yeah, I, I really like that at, at some certain point, y'all. Who's your favorite of all time, Dixie? Jeff Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Hardy's real mouth. The funniest thing she's actually said was, Magnus is going to be the future of the TNA. The future of TNA. No, well, like, to, oh, be, yeah. to be fair, I, I've always been a fan of Magnus. I think he's got a, a good look. I Dude, think he he's does still have some green. He is greener than the majority of guys in the roster. The only person he's not greener than is Rob Terry. Hmm. That's saying something. What do you I think, Braden? You, you wait a minute. Well, hold on. You could build on that, though. I mean, you could always send him to get more training, or you can you can hide it in matches. I, I think. But yeah, he has, but he, so he doesn't. He shouldn't be a world champion, not at the moment. And saying that someone like him should be the future of the company, not yet. He's needs a lot more training. He's that's really why it's the green. Future. Yeah, that's. She yeah, don't know how long. Dixie, far down the Dixie line. Carter. When Dixie says the future, she means like probably two, three weeks from now. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Braden? Dead or alive? Uh, well, on a uh, in terms of knowing their knowledge and just. Uh, basically talking to them about their experiences in the actual industry i'd love to like just kind of have a you know conversation or interview with like somebody like a like a cm punk or daniel bryan these are guys who've been all over the world who actually made it to the biggest promotion in terms of the professional wrestling market even though they're sports entertainment and actually you know despite everything against them became successful and i think that's a, a huge awesome story for anybody who wants to or has any any sort of goals in that? So it would be awesome to hear from those guys just all their experiences building up to where they are today. But in terms of just hearing awesome, funny, made up stories like how he could be uh, once Metallica's bassist, I just love to just hear Hulk Hogan speak to me for like a half hour to three hours just to hear what he has to make up next. <laughs> because <laughs> how was Heather Clem? Well, you know, brother. <laughs> you know, so for that reason, you know, he'd be pretty pretty interesting to talk to. I want to see what he can make up in three hours. <laughs> Brandon, what do you think? Uh, there's one person, and there's absolutely one person I would have want to sit down and have an interview with, I think and that's Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Oh. I, th- I was expecting Iron Sheik. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I can pay forty dollars for that. <laughs> He'd probably just end up slapping papers out of your hand. You wouldn't be able to understand yeah. half what he said. No, and that'd be fine. But I again, you can just, really just just interview with soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it gets the same effect, really. VKM, that's a good one. Yeah, again, just someone who has infinite knowledge of of this business and certainly uh, influenced where this business is now. You know, you have to... Someone has to have that interview at some point in time. There has to be an actual sit-down interview. What were you thinking going through this? Did you set... Yeah. 
did you set out to accomplish this when you first started buying out territories? Like, you know, did you realize you would turn this into a multi-billion dollar empire? Hmm. Mike? I don't know if I could, to be honest with you. I, I, I've heard he's a brutal interview. Like, he, he it's, it's nerve-wracking trying to get an interview out of Vince. Yeah, because I d- you don't know if he's actually trying to, like, um, if he's doing a shoot or if it's just a work. You know, you don't you don't know what comes out of Vince's mouth. It's it's kind of, it's not as bad as talking to Hogan because he bullshits you, but Vince can make you believe the bullshit. What do you think? They Dave? make me believe the bullshit. Well, if I could interview any person dead or alive, I would say Macho Man Randy Savage. And the beat goes on. Absolutely. I mean, first off, I would just love to see how he would act off of a camera. See how similar it is to the person that you always see on the camera. I would love to hear his story. Um, you know, especially just with the guy gone now, you yeah. know, it just makes you miss him that much more. Um, one other person that I would selfishly put in there that I would want to interview is uh, AJ Lee, just because I have a crush on her and I would love to spend any amount of time with her. <laughs> I would love to interview Randy Savage and go, all right, uh, you know, Randy, you know, nice to have you here. Uh, first question I want to ask you, what's an icon? Is it some kind of a bird? <laughs> Uh, fucking, uh, I would love oh. to do it. Um, Snap one, to a slim gym. One person that uh, I forgot to mention that I would be interested in interviewing is uh, Jim Ross. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same. I think he'd be really cool. Yeah. Uh, I... That's going to take us into a really funny thing. Uh, question number three. I'm lost on the Eliminator joke. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, ba- back in ECW, there used to be this tag team consisting of yeah. Perry Saturn and some other guy that never went on to do anything. John Storm. <laughs> We were discussing. John we were discussing uh, who made up the elimination chamber, and we decided that it was the Eliminator. Um, <laughs> now the 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 God on this truth about this, and I edited we, this out this of is, one of the episodes. Yeah, this is uh, something that we actually made fun of in between <laughs> segments and did never talk about because we thought it was way too goddamn controversial. So that's what we... the uh, uh, the Eliminator yeah. is that kid on the. Uh, <laughs> On the, the Make a Wish episode of Raw that just passed uh, a couple weeks ago, where they gave he them. Hey, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, the show just passed by. Oh, okay. The, uh, like a few weeks back. He, they said, "What's your ring name?" And uh, the one kid was like Lightning Larry or something like that, and the other Logan. kid. Logan. Logan. Lightning Logan. Same thing. Um, what was the Is other kid? Lightning Larry, the guy from Cars. Nick the Stitch. Nick the Stitch, yeah. And then the first kid was. The Eliminator, and the way that he said it, we just, for some reason, all of us, we all came to the conclusion that we just laughed, and we feel like terrible people, but at the same time, spoiler alert, he's probably going to be my award whoa, for... Whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys, are make, you guys are making fun of a sick kid? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are terrible! You guys should be ashamed! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, he's, I probably, say, he's probably going to be this. my uh, award for worst ancillary character of the year. Like uh, the Punketeer Kids it, it, before uh, him. It's... Let's not forget the Punketeer Kids won it last year. So this year, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But he's targeting the kids that he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. have... I'm targeting everything in the PG era. Um. No, we, Mango uh, hates children. I originally edited it out because I was just like, you know, we've made like corpse jokes and shit, but like this just felt a little bit too cruel. But we've been st- <laughs> like, everybody keeps throwing these references out during the shows and stuff. <laughs> so we, we couldn't like avoid it. Like Superstar Scores at the end of last week's segment, I think somebody yeah. brought up Superstar Scores, the Eliminator. <laughs> I think it was Miguel. <laughs> 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 um, so that's, you know, we're just, we're terrible people. So we've been kind of laughing at the way that the kid said that. Obviously, let me throw this out there. Obviously, we do not want anything that happened to this kid. We don't want anything that happened no. like that. No, no, I um, want him to win the WWE title. Yeah, we were joking like, hey, he should bring back want... like the cruiserweight because he's under the weight limit and stuff like that. I um, <laughs> don't want the shield to like take this kid and powerbomb him through a table. You know? <laughs> people have been doing uh, pictures of the three kids and then the shield like going to attack them and shit. Like, <laughs> we're not the only horrible people in the world. So, um, question number four is Burhan Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> so, take it away. What do you think? No, you... <laughs> oh, that's kind of racist. I'm joking. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not Spanish. I'm 
uh, Turkish English. So, you know, born in the United Kingdom, raised in the United Kingdom, and I'm Turkish Cypriot with a little bit of Iranian in there. So there you go. So to be fair, though, if you saw that picture that he just posted on his Facebook, you'd probably think there was some Latin machismo in there. <laughs> that is a very attractive mustache you're rocking there, sir. Thank you. That that was me on the magic flute, but what can you say? Maybe we'll get you to do uh, the outro in Spanish tonight. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I will try and fail. It'll be pretty <laughs> bad. All right, guys. Um, send us any of your questions in for next month. We do this every pay-per-view. And... Uh, Thanks for sending it in. Uh, awesome piano, man. Great questions. And uh, we will roll on to part two with the hot tags and then start going into the Extreme Rules pay-per-view prediction talk.